Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to use shortcuts in Atom as well as in your terminal. I use iTerm. I highly recommend you go get iTerm right now. If you don't, um, there are multiple benefits to using iTerm, and I will show you this in this mini tutorial. First of all, let's focus on Atom. So let me establish the Alt Tab relationship or Command Tab relationship. Okay, so now when I do Command Tab, I switch between my terminal and my Atom text editor. So First of all, you can always have a file tree. So if I do command backslash the key under delete, it will show me my file tree. But that wastes space. Like you see line 16, now I had to populate an extra blank line. So now I don't have to worry about it. So you're going to probably wonder how do I find files? Well, if you do command T, you have your file searcher. So if I go to like crack.rb, which I'm already in, so it won't open a new one. But if I did uh, decryptor.rb, boom, ready to go. And now if I want to switch between all these files, because if you look up top, I have encrypted.txt, message.txt. If I do control tab, I can go through each one. So something that I highly recommend, since control will be used a lot in Atom and in your terminal, on top of the command key, is to do first command space to open spotlight, go to preferences, open that, now use your mouse and click keyboard, down at modifier keys, make sure your caps lock is control, um, honestly who uses caps lock anymore, uh, shift is usually pretty good at capitalizing one or two letters that we need to capitalize for the beginning of a sentence or whatever, or if you're doing an acronym. So I highly recommend you switch your caps lock to control. It is a lot more accessible than the tiny little control key on a Mac keyboard. So that will save you some time. So now let me put my mouse away. Uh, so command tab switches between programs, as you know. And now I'm in Atom. So I'm going to use my arrows. And let's say, I don't know, I want to change my method length to something else but then I have to change all these other calls of length right like oh I don't want to have to change all that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do command D it will select the first instance of length and then if you keep if you hold down command and you keep hitting D it will highlight all the lengths and I can call it length 5 or I can call it something completely different lol lol and it will change every instance now I'm just gonna do command ZZ and one more Z to undo all my changes because I don't want to mess my my git repo um, the one time you need to use your mouse is to click out because it will save the cursor position so every time you move around it'll have all these cursors following you around um, another neat trick is to like alt around so if you alt right arrow it will skip entire like sections so here it'll go from expected to the left bracket of one boom so if you just want to skip entire things sometimes you use alt and your arrows uh, command n will make a new file command s will obviously save it I'm going to cancel here and command w will close the tab now let's go to the terminal real quick. Also, uh, let me just demonstrate what it's like to open and close the file tree. So command backspace. You see all that. Okay, so now I'm in my terminal. And with iTerm, if I do command uh, right curly bracket, if you only have two panes, you can do both. It'll just cycle backwards. And then right curly bracket will cycle forward. Whatever's highlighted is my current pane, so this just got highlighted. Now, if I do caps lock C, it will quit HTOP. Um, instead of fishing for control, I was immediately able to execute that keystroke. If I do control or caps lock D, it will close that pane. If I do command shift D, it will open a new horizontally split pane. And if I do Command D, we'll do vertically. So if you have this full screen, for example, like this or something, um, now you can take advantage of all these panes. So like Command Shift D, 
and then run around back to this one the command shift T again but I'm gonna quit out of all these so control D oops control D and then I'm gonna go back here I use a program called split screen and the caps lock key is what I use all the time to move my windows around so like full screen left right so that caps lock modifier is really cool you should highly I highly recommend you do it you should invest some time into learning or relearning how to fish for control so now I'm going to quit out of this pane because I don't want it vertically I want it horizontally now if I do up arrow I can call H stop again and see what my system is doing command curly brackets will of course go back and forth now terminals come by default with uh, auto completion so if I do like EN and hit well if I use bin so EN and hit tab it'll say encrypt but I have a file in here also called encryptor so I have to do like O and then I hit tab and it'll do dot RB so let me show you the files in my lib for example, if I just do like vim k, it'll know that I'm looking for key.rp, I hit tab, boom, enter, I'm in vim, then escape wq, and I'm out. Um, if I do like vim o, it'll be confused as to is it offset or output, so I do ou for output, hit tab, it auto-completes. This helps a lot for like huge named like, file directories or if you don't want to mess with doing the escape character if somebody named their file directory with a space it will automatically do that for you so those are some cool terminal tricks and some atom shortcuts please let me know if I didn't cover anything that you would like to know otherwise you can always go into atom hit command W I mean comma command comma and then go to key bindings and you can go through the list of every shortcut that they have provided in the editor. Anyways, you guys have a great one, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know.